What's up everybody, Devin up here and I'm back and today, yes, I had to get this big baby right here. Look at this big baby, big duke, big boy. Big duke controller, this big nasty freakish controller where if you get hit in the head by this, it's a wrap. You in concussion, you out, you done. This controller could probably take a bullet for real. This is a big muff right here, like for real, but it's sexy though. It's so, uh, whew, the nostalgia when I see this. You guys already know I got the original Xbox. Oh, you don't know, I didn't do I didn't do an unboxing on that yet. Uh, I might as well add it. Yeah, I might as well watch my documentary too. The Xbox is in my documentary, so go watch my documentary on the Xbox. The original one, enter the video. That's my Xbox. I'm late. I know I'm late, but listen, like, I didn't get the black one. I actually wanted the green one because the green one looks pretty dope. Yes, yeah, the black one is the OG original. You know what I'm saying? That's worth a lot more. But I thought the green one looks pretty cool because it's different. So let's unbox it. Let's, let's talk about it. I'm going to compare the old controller to the new controller and uh, tell me what you guys think about it. You know, nostalgia purposes, baby. Let's get it started. Can OG Duke controller. This is for the Xbox. This is by Hyperkin. Xbox plays original Xbox animated stamp screen. Okay, we're gonna find out what that means. Bumpers mirror black and white buttons. Classic design featuring the original Xbox animated startup screen played right inside the Xbox button. Vibration feedback for realistic experiences. Nine foot detachable USB cable. And lastly, 3.5 headset jack. This is the Hypercam Duke controller, a startup guide. Very small. Thank you for purchasing the Hyper Duke Xbox One controller. Plug the micro USB into the top. Plug the other end into the Xbox One or the PC. And lastly, the original animation will begin once you start it up. So that's pretty cool. And note, the bumpers, L, B, and right B, mirror the functions of the black and white buttons. So the black and white buttons are nothing. Is that what you're saying? Um, it's just there for the nostalgia purposes? Yeah, see, look at this. As big as my hand. See, we used to toss these things. These were weapons as kids back in the day, you know? Yo, let me. Hey. If you die in Halo, you better watch out. Things went up beside your head. And last but not least, this is the USB controller. I wonder if they made it just like the original. Nah, but they should have though. Of course not, but they should have at least had it like the black original looking. That would have made it a little bit better, but hey, listen, like this, this is good enough. Who's complaining? This is good enough. So you got the analog, of course. You got the big nasty D-pad, that makes no sense. You got the guide button, menu buttons right here. Start, select. You got the Y, B, X, A, the black and white buttons, which is also the bumpers up here, which I'm assuming these are it. And right here used to be the memory cards. No one remembers that because no one ever bought Xbox memory cards. And if you did, come on bro, really? And up top of here is the USB port and the left and the right triggers. And on the back is the Hyper Duke. That's pretty much the controller. And of course, right here, you got the, the big glare of where the Xbox is gonna be. Now, the real reason why I got this is because people were asking questions. Can this play on the new Xbox? All right, y'all, so got the X right here. I'm gonna plug it in. Then I'm gonna plug the controller in. After that, we're gonna play some movies. Hey, hey don't act like this wasn't a funny movie though. Don't fake. Yeah, I know Freaky Friday funny. And quit being a fun sucker. Also, a cool thing is that you can actually replay this over and over again. So that's pretty cool if you hit the button. Yeah, 
it looks so much better in person, man. Like, uh, because you got this, you know, this nasty IR screen that makes it bright because, you know, you know how it is, man. But because the light inside here makes it look bright on camera, but in person, it's like really black, like actual black. Oh uh, man, it's not doing its justice right now, y'all. But this is real dope. Oh uh, yeah, so of course we got the original controller right here. And then we got the Hyper King controller right here. So it looks the same. Yes, they did a great job in designing this. And I just wanna say, yo, look how clean this original Xbox controller looks like after all these years. Fresh, clean, ready to play, yes, I know. Mm, look at that, the tag still looks nice. Fresh, white, no yellow, inside clean. Look at the inside, mm, clean, yes. Kept this thing in shape. All right, so as we see, the D-pad, they kept the D-pad the same. They kept the analog and dents actually the same. Cause if you look, see them lines right here? The newer edition got the same one, it's kind of, it's a little dim, but it has it has it too. Same on the opposite side. You can see it more on this side. Even the buttons are the same. You even got the black buttons on top. I never knew what they used for. They're probably used for like probably one or two games. <laughs> and the same on the newer version. So only difference is that the black and white buttons are on the new ones, the left trigger and the right trigger, as you see. They represent as the black and white dots. So these are the new ones. And of course you got the back triggers to itself. And you guys already know right here is where the memory slot is supposed to be. And also right here is where the USB is supposed to be inserted at. And on top here, so you got the memory inserts, the memory card inserts right here. Of course you got its own port and you got the triggers. And there are no triggers on the side here. It's a brand new thing. Now on the bottom, you got the Microsoft indent. And this one, you don't. So a little minor changes, of course, they can put Microsoft there. They didn't make it, but you know, on the back, you got the Hyperkin Duke controller. And as I mentioned previously, you can push this down in. You know, the old one you can, you know, it's, it's that old plastic. But all in all, it looks nice. They did a great job. But all in all, they're nice controllers. They did a great job. Um, I like how the animation is on this one but you still can't really beat the original. Still big in the hands, you know? Again, these were weapons, you know, people use these as body armors, you know, you get hit by a straight bullet with this, like, you know what I'm saying? The bullet will probably, won't penetrate you, like you'll be okay. You know, these things are crazy. Now, when it comes to the weight, of course, this is a weight a lot lighter <laughs> versus this one. But, um, what's more put together? This Xbox is more put together because this has the plastic, of course, as you can see, it's all plasticky, but, all in all, you know, it's great. The only thing I wish was that this was wireless. If this was wireless, holy crap, this controller would be gone. And yeah, and for the OGs, yes, I show the old throwbacks. Look at this big cord. Yeah, I know y'all missed this. I know y'all missed this big cord. Remember you had to come over the house and play some Halo in Halo 2 in this big controller, you know? Yes, and I got to show the, the green wiring. This is just for the OGs, man. Like, I got to give them a little treat, the green wiring. But that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys want to see uh, original Xbox kind of unboxing, go watch my documentary at the end. I'll show my original Xbox. I'm gonna do an unboxing soon on this channel, the Xbox. It is the 20th anniversary year of 2021, so that will come later this year. And if you guys want to see that, just subscribe and I'm gonna do that and Halo together. It's gonna be really fun. All right, guys, so what you guys think? Uh, it works. It was fun, right? It was cool. You guys gonna get this? Man, You, if you are a huge Xbox fan, you gotta get this controller. Like, you gotta get this controller. You know what I'm saying? It's really dope. Like, I mess with it. But all right, guys, this is Devin Up. I'm out. Throw them pizza for your boy. Wish you guys thanks. Subscribe to me. And again, thank you guys for, you know, everything. I got nothing else to say. All right, and I'm out. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching.